So I'm back with a very quick air fryer recipe. Um, this is one of the meals that we go to when we're short on time and if we have a busy evening. My son has baseball practice today, so we decided on salmon. Um, it's gonna be in the air fryer for 25 minutes at 400. We're gonna serve it with pico, strawberry pico, so I'm gonna show you how to make that. that and we serve it with white rice. So while the salmon is in the air fryer, we're gonna do our pico and I'm gonna show you how to get it done. First, you're gonna wanna rinse your salmon with warm water, at least that's what I do. And then I just dab a paper towel on it to get it dry. Um, this usually serves four servings. Get around two to three tablespoons of olive oil, and I just lay it on top, and I just make sure to rub it all over, even in the on the sides, on the insides, and just all around. And then I take the Fiesta Lemon and Herb Seasoning and we just do a generous amount all over. We like it really coated. Um, obviously, if you do not like that much seasoning, you do not have to do what I do and just keep on going back for more. Um, so for the strawberries, I use a whole box or a whole case. Um, I love strawberry pico. What you're going to notice in this pico is that there is no tomatoes. Um, the strawberries act as the base of the pico. So I did make it with tomatoes one time and it was not good. Um, so the strawberries are the base of this pico. And then I do one jalapeno because um, my white husband thinks jalapenos are too hot. So I just chop one large jalapeno up. If you're like my sister, you can do a serrano, but I ain't about that. And then I just do the head of, um, I guess you can call it a large bunch of cilantro. I cannot express this enough, y'all. I do not like chopping cilantro. I get so annoyed just watching this really annoys me. <laughs> and then I'll do half of a small red onion, finely chopped. I love red onion and pico. I don't, I don't feel like white or yellow onion really give it a lot of flavor. So I always do a red onion. you're just gonna dice it, chomp it up. I usually do one large lemon. I'll get the juice from one large lemon or two, um, it just depends. And then I always use garlic salt in my pico and I just do a good amount all over and then I end up mixing it in or folding all the ingredients together. And then once this is done, this usually doesn't take too long, depending on how fast you chop. It might take like 10 minutes. So this is the rice that we like to use. Um, you can get this at a cheve, and we just microwave it for two minutes. Obviously you can use other rice. Okay, so here it is when it's all done and put together. Um, I love this meal so much. Um, it's one of my favorites, so I really hope y'all enjoy it as much as I do. Alrighty, you guys, that's it. Um, I hope y'all enjoyed it. Like I said, this is one of my favorite meals. My cat opened my pantry door, so I don't have ghosts, just 
wild ass cats. Um, but yeah, I'll see y'all next time. I hope y'all like it. Bye. Get up. Come on, Reba K. Go.